Hello, this is Ryan Devlin. I'm Senior Rehab Director at Wellington and Hershey Mills in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I'm here to talk about care plans. Care plans uh, are required and completed by the entire team. So nursing, social service, dietary, and therapy. At some facilities, the therapists complete the care plan their own. Um, other facilities, uh, you may give input to your nursing supervisor or your RNAC or your MDS coordinator, and they will complete the care plan. But it does need to be driven by the therapist, and it does need to be specific and customized to each patient. Um, they need to, basically, we base this off of their goals. We base it off of our orders that we're placing um, so that it, we cover everything that CMS and the state are requiring. So CMS requires us to talk about what type of service we're providing, who is going to complete the service, and how often. So if your goals are stating it's five to six times a week for four weeks, for um, your, your PT aspects and your OT aspects, all that needs to be in the care plan. Um, as speech as well also needs a care plan. Um, so going forward with uh, PDPM, they're going to be looking more at the GG is also reflected in your care plan. So when your GG is asking for more community navigation based goals, we also want to put that in our care plan. So um, certain things that we want to add to the care plan within our specific discipline is um, do they need a wheelchair? Um, do they need assistive devices as needed? Do they need adaptive equipment as needed? Do they need an altered diet as ordered? Uh, cognition also needs to be addressed and we can talk about that in the goals section in just a few minutes. So your 48 hour meeting is a little more basic, but you do need to have this information given to the patient and that is required by CMS. So when you are putting your goals in and your information in for a care plan, you need a problem, a goal, and a plan. So some of the things that you want to address are not just ADLs and self-care and function. Um, you and you do want it to be slightly general and not completely specific. Not only does it make the care plan too long, but it makes it so specific that you would have to update it weekly. So you may put in there, um, you know, that you will increase their ADLs and their self-care um, to reduce the burden of care. You may put in there that they need to do community navigation, um, increase their ambulation, increase their balance and strength to reduce their fall risk. There could be, there definitely needs to be added um, health literacy education. It is something that us as therapists do every day and we don't always take credit for. But this is something that if we add to the care plan, it really tells the whole story to CMS, the state and uh, the CNAs and the nurses exactly what we are providing for that patient. Um, so this, is, this really helps us take credit for what we do. Um, as you start seeing family more and more people to, that support the patient in the community, they might end up changing some of the goals. They might change who's going to be helping them more. Um, you may realize that they can't drive anymore and they do need more help. The family may decide that the whole discharge plan changes. This needs to also be reflected in the care plan. And please keep in mind that anytime you do an order, orders need to be reflected in your care plan. So if you change your order for your frequency, your duration, or your goals, you need to go back to the care plan and make sure that that is updated. They always need to go hand in hand. Um, so by your 14 day, you need to have your comprehensive care plan. So your goals are gonna be based more exactly on what the DC plan is. Um, this will definitely encompass some more of the community navigation, um, the medication management, their health literacy education, their specific diet needs, um, that cognition is being addressed with prompts and reminders um, either by staff or things that the speech service has worked on with the patient to really know that you're, again, you're referring back to your safe transitions to be able to, to um, discharge them safely to their either previous living environment or their next living environment. Um, so when we start talking about that, we are now talking about um, the care plan meeting. So when you go to the care plan meeting, and the patient is there, you are able to bill for it. You're able to bill for 
the portion that you're discussing for your discipline, which is their current level of function, the goals that you have set, have you discussed a home eval, have you discussed family training? So not all of that may go into your exact care plan, but that's going to give you the tools and the goals to make sure that your, your care plan is still accurate through the continuum of their stay. Um, again, you can bill for some of that. Um, and then in your daily note, you want to take credit for going to the care plan meeting, stating that the patient was there, any family member or team members that were there, and then stating that the patient agrees with the plan of care and the goals set forth. You can then start discussing what their discharge plan is and how you are getting them there. Um, this just really encompasses everything that you've done. And again, when you do that, you want to then make double check your care plan. Um, so it is a lot of back and forth. Uh, they are going to start looking at this more and more, especially as uh, the, the new payment reform goes into place of PDPM. Um, they're going to really start scrutinizing on how we have customized that care plan to that exact patient, and we want to make sure that we are on point with that. Um, this concludes our um, compliance video for care plans. If you have need further information, there are videos on uh, CEU 360. There is also, if you ask your RVP, um, or your compliance um, person at corporate, they can send you the therapist guide to care plans. Uh, a lot of this information is also in there. And um, if you haven't already, you might want to add yourself to uh, the Documentation Success Facebook page. There's lots of information that they post on there at least a few times a week uh, that you can pull off and use in various areas. Um, I thank you very much and have a great day.